<laughs> okay, better find a way to reach Nikolai 1.0. He's the last one. I should also track down Richtofen. Find out exactly what he wanted with the blood. Find out exactly why we were zipping around the place. Oh my. Well, what an intro. Holy crap, that's amazing. Hey guys, and welcome to the newest installment in the Zombies series for Black Ops 3, Gorod Krovi. Oh my goodness, I am so pumped about this map. Like, it, uh, it's just insane. Uh, so, <laughs> this isn't my first time playing. I've actually tried it out a little bit, so I know uh, a few things, but I definitely don't know a lot. What I do know is that the models for these dragons are just fucking amazing. And this beginning dragon in the first place is freaking god, I just look at it! You can see inside! Hello! Hello! Okay, okay. So uh uh I haven't played much zombies, but I'm definitely in the mood for it right now. I haven't played it in a while. However, I'm a huge fan. I've played like every single possible zombies uh installment except for exo zombies, because fuck that, that was shit. Fucking hated it. But uh, Treyarch Zombies where it at. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to, to show showcase this. It just came out. Um, sure seems to have left it's like 2 in the morning right now. But I'm excited to just like truly play it and uh, give it an honest go. So yeah. <laughs> I love zombies. I love uh, what, the, what they're going with these styles. How they go super bombastic and each freaking over the top out of the freaking blue map it's just insane and uh, we are already uh, right away have our different uh, you know challenges Holy crap. Okay. so I'm excited to show off uh, my skills as a zombie player and uh, show off this map and what I do know about it which isn't much I try not to spoil anything for myself so all I did really was uh, watch the trailer and then I had a little go at it so this isn't my initial reaction but every time I see like the visuals in this map I still get all giddy because man they did such a good job just look at the sky hold on I'll look up there in a second like look at that you got the planes fighting you got like freaking missiles going off you got the giant robots in the background 
Uh, from the intro there, which I haven't seen yet, um, you see uh, the old Nikolai, which if you're up to date in any of the zombies, we're trying to kill... I don't know, She's man. A low. We're trying to do weird ass stuff, honestly. We're trying to do some crazy bullshit where we're uh, going through different dimensions and going back in time, and I don't know, man. It's... It's insane, and uh, I, I love what they've done there at the Treyarch Zombies team, because they've uh, done a really do good that. job at, no, really, you at don't. really just creating something from, from a fabrication of nothing. Like, I don't even know how far back they had all this planned, but remember when, uh... Shut up, Nikolai. Okay, back to business. Secure the other Nikolai. Even with all this ranting, I sure hope he's in a good mood. <laughs> he's not gonna be in a good mood, Dempsey. Come on. We're in Russia, right? Shouldn't all this shit be free? Oh, yay! Communism jokes. So, it started off as, as you know, that unlockable uh, Nocturne Toten, which uh, was really fun on its own. I thought it was fucking mind blowing back when I was uh, a little bit younger, and to think that it's gone this far since then is just fucking phenomenal. <laughs> it's insane. There needs to be more zombie games out there. I mean, look at this cockpit! Oh my god, this whole plane just demolished. I wouldn't be flying anything in these skies uh, after seeing what that dragon can do. But, uh, yeah, so that was Nikolai in that big uh, machine panzer shek thing, fucking whatever the hell it is. Uh, there's where he landed. So I'm assuming the easter egg uh, story part of this map is to somehow uh, free him from the rubble that he's under right now and then kill him because that's what we've apparently been trying to do is hunt down all of the OGs and kill them. So we gotta go kill a fucking drunk. Perhaps just in the vodka. Come to help me, friend, eh? That would be good. For years I have had only one friend, eh? <laughs> Say hello to vodka. He's completely lost his marbles, hasn't he? I agree, Dempsey. I think he has. So uh, you might recognize that little uh, little music playing in the background. I did realize, or find out already, that these vodka bottles are in fact what triggers the Easter egg music, which is pretty neato, if you ask me. Just goes in the theme with the fact that we're dealing with, you know, drunk old Nikolai. And Russians love their vodka, apparently. I'm gonna go ahead and not grab that, because I want points. I need them. I need all the points! Okay, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Ooh, speaking of points, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. My death machine. Hey, Hell yeah. Will you get a look at what Dempsey's packing? So, uh, obviously on the channel, I haven't really uh, posted much zombies of anything else. I really, really uh, enjoy zombies though. <laughs> like, honestly, it's probably one of my uh, most favorite aspects of Call of Duty games that are coming out. Infinity Ward has said that they are producing their own take on zombies, which I'm no excited ammo. to see. That can't be good. But I haven't uploaded any yet. And the most recent map was Zetsubo no Shima, which was a pretty fun map uh, in the swamp, but uh, no one fucking likes swamps, right? And I'm liking this style already. Like, it's so, like, burnt. There's so much detail, and that's what I love in these new maps that Treyarch puts out, is all of this da damn detail. Like, Fucking insane. So basically, to my extent on this map, I know where a few perks are. Uh, I know some of the weapons in the box, I suppose. And I know where power is, but beyond that, I'm not too sure. God damn, look at him. He's just chilling. Wake up, bud. You're drunk. It's time to go home. So uh, to start off this, I'm assuming the best way to go is just straight to power, because I, I want to be able to buy those perks. ASAP, get out of my life, zombies. No, thank you. Ah, already hurt. Man, it would have been really embarrassing to just go down under right there. <laughs> that would have been awful. Here we are in the power room. Now, uh, if you're keeping up with all of the leaks right beforehand, this is actually a, one of the screenshots that they released. Was this room with this crazy uh, ball system in it with all these freaking wires attached to it. I gotta focus on killing some zombies though. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Hope you like my uh, custom Cuda. It's always a good wall buy, I feel. Ooh, thank you. Time to send them By the powers that packing. be. 
Okay, I'm just gonna lighten up this crowd real quick so we can turn on power and see what happens once we do. Alright, let there be light! Someone just say Maxis? Indeed, Dempsey, someone did say Maxis. So I love this room. <laughs> I think they did such an amazing job on this. This fucking little iBot, it follows you. Leave me alone! I'm not giving you my candy, bro. Okay. Uh, so yeah, she talked about Maxis. Uh, and actually, as you can see, uh, this little console of hers has a little slot there. I'm sure there's so many Easter egg things, but it's uh, Sophia. So refer to this lovely lady as Sophia and all her luscious curves that she's got going on there. Also look at that. I don't know what the hell that is, but it looks fucking dope. Okay, so I think my goal now is to purchase Juggernog, obviously, and not die. <laughs> right away at least. Uh, definitely gonna die. It's gonna be inevitable. I'm not probably not gonna get much done because this is a really early playthrough. I haven't even had time really, really to explore anything. My finances a bit better. And uh, I'm sure there are people out there who probably already done the Easter egg. This map's been out for like two hours, and I'm sure it was finished within the first hour. So yeah, no big surprises there. Don't doubt me, bro. Okay, this is one of the aspects of the map that has changed things around. Um, as you can see, this is a lot of fire coming down. Those dragons aren't very happy. They don't like me, apparently. Oh, Doesn't matter because I got jugged. Me pretty thirsty. So, uh, I'm invincible. And, uh, you saw me pick up. I didn't really have a chance to even look at it, but I picked up a code cylinder that you can see in the bottom left there. Also, you can see that there's a dragon shield and the dragon network controller and a dragon egg. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Don't know what any of those do, but, um,. Obviously, we know what the dragon shield is. It's just a shield. What do I have to do so, to excitement and hype for that, I suppose. So, first of all, we gotta find all the pieces to it. Get out of here, bitch. Alright. Moving on, I have Jug now. I have my revive. I'm fine. Let's go ahead and show you what this code cylinder does. Okay, wait, let's look at the dragon. Look at him! Fucking insane. Yeah, if you couldn't already tell, you don't want to be standing in that shit. Okay, so these code cylinders, uh, I actually shouldn't do no it yet because I'm gonna need some Never ammo. A good thing. Because it's a little bit of a challenge when it comes down to it. Let's see, where did I buy Makuta? Down there, right? Uh, up there. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, here it is. Alright, so these code cylinders, they bring down these, uh, these machines. I really know what they are. They're those things. They're little, um, little Hujima Wuggets. They, like, burrow into the ground or something. I don't think they burn into the ground, but they... Shut up. They get launched, and then they, they fall down. Groth Called a Groth module. Dr. Groth, as you may or may not know of. Uh, oh my god, thank you. I've never had one land so close to me. <laughs> so, I'm assuming this is a necessary step to unlock some other aspect of the map. I'm not fully aware yet. But let's go ahead and find out. <laughs> I hope. I know you get a piece from it, and it's part of the Dragon Network controller down there. And these guys seem to attack it and not you when it's activated, so I mean, that's pretty good for you. Not so good for this machine, though. Fuck off, man! Oh no! So, the screen likes to light up orange when the dragon's gonna go ahead and get all angry and spread fire. Uh, well, that felt a little bit like a clusterfuck. Um, to carry this. <laughs> shit, He's I can't believe I... Guy. Wow. I can't believe that I came out unscarred from that, basically. So we finished it, and it gave us that first piece of the Dragon Network controller. Uh, that dragon who was trying to breathe fire on me obviously doesn't want me to control it. But I mean, like, come on, man. 
It's gotta hook a homie up with the free ride, right? Four double points. Not gonna turn. So now that we finished that first, first set, uh, we get this next one. It's a different color if you see up there. The first one was blue, this one's now yellow. And uh, it correlates to a different little machine that we put it into called a separate Groff uh, module down. And repeat the process we just did. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what ends. There's three of them, that's all I know. And uh, I'm excited to figure out exactly what happens. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying. I haven't uploaded zombies before, so I don't really know the particular uh, style I should do it in that uh, works with my commentary, which is probably shit. So, yeah, there's that. But all I do know is that I'm enjoying this map. It looks beautiful. Here's the next vodka, by the way. Very pretty. The Easter egg song is fucking pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty damn badass. So, now we're in the supply depot. And we have the yellow module for the yellow supply depot module, indicated by the yellow lights right there. So, out of here. Should have made sure you finished the Now job. we can do this one, and hopefully everything goes to plan. Rolf, come down to me. Where are you landing? Okay, so now we need to make our way to it before it gets destroyed, and protect it from those zombie bags. If you know what I mean. Zambonis. The uh, the zombies. Oh, man, I don't even know what to call the zombies mode, right? Of gameplay has actually been a really big part of my life ever since I was a kid. It was one of the things that um, I remember when the first DLC map was uh, you know confirmed to actually be a thing after the the Nocturne took map, and it was it was insane, and everyone was really excited about it. Ruck was finally coming out. Jeez. Oh, I completed a challenge. Nice. So yeah. I've always really, really loved it. And I'm... Okay, look, we got the second piece. I've always really loved it, and I'm I'm so like happy to see the scale that has gone on, and it's so amazing to see the team take its, you know, creative leap from map to map, and it's really impressive, honestly. I'm also sorry if I just go off on random tangents, I just fucking love zombies. News, and I'm assuming anybody watching this probably explode. loves zombies too, otherwise you would have clicked away already, because, yeah, fuck it. Aha, uh -huh. and here's the next one. The tank factory code cylinder, you can see that it's red, so now we need to go to the other side of the map. And uh, since we're here, this little bridge is only 500 points, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Get rid of this empty cooler. Time to throw down, freak bags. Wow. Rile me up. <laughs> well, here you have it. <laughs> That's really lucky. This is I the uh, you, the I? new wep wonder weapon. I've actually never used this before, but um, the GKZ 45 Mark III. Um, holy shit! <laughs> it's fucking amazing. It works like two separate guns. I'm not entirely sure exactly what they do. But, uh, yeah. This one seems to fire just... Oh, okay. What the fuck did I just do? Excuse me. I know this one fires like the regular, um... What was it, the Mark II ray gun? That did like the triple burst? But it's only one. It's not exactly a, a triple burst. And, uh, I... I don't know what the hell this thing just did, but it killed everything. There's was a few clicks beforehand. You like that? Ah, oh, you slowed down. Two rays beats the hell out of one. Why did the other one go purple though? Was it because it hit enough zombies? With Zambos? Um, hello. Looking for trouble? Please. Sure found it. Don't don't do it. Nice dragon. God, they look so fucking cool. Man! Take me with you! You fucking jerk! Looking for a fight, Flushor! I don't think he cared about my bullets. Alright, well, <laughs> this is good enough time as any to go ahead and do the third and last Groff module already. Woo! Holy crap. Okay, where did it come down? Over there. Okay, I gotta try to find um, 
my way to there. I think one of the benefits about playing zombies for so long and uh, you know keeping up to date with every single new map as soon as it comes out is that I am really good with learning map layouts at a very you know fast rate. So I'm kind of already good on, on where to go after only playing this two other times. Okay, bud. Nope, you're gonna have to get off. You're gonna have to get off that for me. Oh, a part? Oh, okay, cool. Wonder There's a zombie shield part. I actually don't know He's where all three guy. of those are. Okay, that time it went purple again. I can't tell what it's doing, but it seems to be hurting a lot of zombies. Holy crap. Hey! Go to the thing. Don't hit me. I've actually not gotten all three of these parts yet either. Um, so I'm wondering. Ah! No, please don't hurt me. I got scared there. It's a really tight little spot there. useful for something. Okay, there we go. All three. What was that? Anyways. Oh, I can hear the other thing. That's right here. Let's give it a go. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and give this a listen. Fuck yeah, I'm so feeling it. I love this. <laughs> it's a really good choice of Easter egg song. Shit. Thanks, brother. Thought that was lights out. See me smiling? Happens whenever I get a mini gun. Double points. Time to reap what we sow, and I'm sowing you, freak bags. in Russia. Dempsey, once more for old time's sake. Ooh, 
Fuck yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I was super feeling it right there. I'm very sorry about that, but holy shit. That was fucking awesome. Excellent choice, Treyarch, on that fucking musical Easter egg. That was top notch. I uh, sort of lost uh, my focus there for a second because I was trying to, um, you know, pay attention to the song. And I went down. And also, you saw the new uh, super, super soldiers. You didn't see them for very long because I fucked them up. But they have that weird arm cannon on them, and they hurt. If you get hit by them, you are pretty much fucked. Like, I want to say it's almost like a one-hit down, but it's it's not. It's just fairly close. Okay, so <laughs> we made some progress. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, musical Easter egg. I think it was really cool. Um, and when it comes to, I don't know, recording these and the time it takes, I think I'm, I'm going to split it up just so I can get, uh, you know, first episodes out. Um, as fast as possible. So I don't know exactly when I'm gonna be able to split this or when the next episode is gonna start and end. So I'm just hoping that you guys are enjoying all the way through. So yay, let's uh, keep going though.